Blue Bloods Football back again with the first episode of the run-in. Guys, welcome to those who actually made it here. We're going to yes. do Premier League predictions. This is match day 36. Match day 36. There yes. we go. There you have it. So let's yeah. jump straight into it with Luton versus Everton. They're playing at Luton, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, Tough ground. Um, airport stadium of this yeah tough um, ground yeah I'm gonna go in with this one I'm gonna say Everton have been trying to stay up yeah 15th place versus 18th place mm. Luton has been fighting quite hard but obviously they find themselves in a precarious position but I still think Everton will walk away with it Sean Dyche is a maestro I'm gonna say 2-1 to Everton I'm gonna say 2-0 to Everton because yeah I don't think they're gonna concede a goal they're going to be absolutely ruthless from now till the end of the season cool Arsenal born with this is a quick one obviously everyone in their hearts wants Arsenal to lose but they're not going to yeah. they're playing at Emirates their record's so good so far um, yeah. well good so far yeah most goals I think yeah. least goals conceded most clean sheets this is annoying to be honest I hate to say it but Arsenal are <laughs> probably gonna win yeah oh, give them a 3-0 Bournemouth I don't see them doing much even with Dominic Solanke and his good form it's just not going to happen true, true. Arsenal. but I think when I look at Arsenal they are a team that deserve to win the Premier League even though like yes being a Liverpool fan like truly with the football that they play 100% editing that part out <laughs> no ways like being bi- being unbiased Arsenal do deserve to win the Premier League absolutely with the football that they play obviously it's not what I wish for but yeah this game they are winning I'm going to go 4-0 yeah I think they are also going to be ruthless 4-0 to Arsenal. Cool. Brentford and Fulham. This is an interesting one. I'm not sure what's happened to Ivan Tony. I haven't seen him in a while. I'm not sure if it's injury or they're just benching him because he might want to leave. But um, I think he's some firepower they could use. Fulham also on a joke. They've given a few big teams a scare. They have a decent attack and a stable team. Oof, this might be quite a good game. It's at Brentford. That's the thing. That gives them a bit of an edge. But I honestly think Fulham will go away with this one. I'm going to go for a shocker. 3-1. Ooh. to Fulham I disagree because I think obviously Brentford are fighting for relegation uh, if they lose this one then it's yeah they're in the danger zone honestly so I think I'm gonna go for Brentford for this one to win 2-1 fair, fair. we're Burnley and Newcastle I'm gonna go straight forward with this one uh, Burnley are obviously in the fight for their lives but they play some very risky open football the company wants them to play I don't think he has the facilities for it in the meantime true, um, true. they did get the draw against United yeah but Good yeah, result. it's United. Yeah. Um, Newcastle, I think I'm going to smoke them, to be honest. He suck us on some great form. This is yeah. going to be a 4-1 win. I should probably captain him for my FPL. <laughs> <laughs> Good prediction. I'm going to go for 3-1 to Newcastle. I think Burnley will get a goal. I'm a person that loves to watch beautiful football. So yes, Burnley will, will score for me. Yeah, 3-1. Sheffield and Nottingham Forest. First of all, condolences to Sheffield out of the Premier League. Deserved. See you next time. Deserved. <laughs> Ouch. Um, but yeah, they're playing some garbage football, to be honest, guys. I don't know what they were doing. I have to be straightforward about it. Um, I don't know what they're going to do against Nottingham Forest because Nottingham Forest can be decent at times. Yeah. Um, maybe now they play with nothing to lose, so it might be one of those shock results. But Nottingham Forest should win this. I'm going to say might be a bit closer than I think. I'm going to go 2-1 to Nottingham. I also think it's going to be close. I actually agree. 2-1 to Nottingham Forest. I think Sheffield will want to get something out of it. I mean, yeah. At this point, they're just playing for fun. Yeah. (laughs) Sunday league for them, bro. Man City and Wolves, guys. I remember back then, this used to be one of those games where Wolves was always Man City's bogey team. Yeah. Especially with... um, Who's that coach, bro? Nunes. uh, Yeah. Nuno. Espera. Espera. You know, whatever. Yeah. Obviously, not the case so much anymore. Yeah. And City are fighting for the Prem. Guys, please win it honestly yes I mean please. I don't want them to do a four peat it's annoying but for me <laughs> anyone over Arsenal yeah so yeah City I think I'm gonna say they might win this one they're finding some decent rhythm nowadays yeah um, I'm gonna go for 3-1 to Man City so here's the thing though I don't trust Man City like so yes like they are winning but they're not like winning convincingly it's not the same anymore yeah right? I don't trust them yeah look I think defense they're shaky I feel like they do concede in this game but they're still gonna win they're at home three one to Man City. Yes sir. Chelsea West Ham, yeah whatever. Listen, um get off <laughs> I hate this team. Um Chelsea West Ham guys, I don't know anymore. Listen, we had a game in hand against Tottenham in the past, whatever, who knows where that was. Yeah, Chelsea West Ham guys. Chelsea West Ham. What yeah, can no. I say? Listen, West Ham concede a lot of goals. Yeah. They play open football. 
So if I'm thinking accurately, uh, bro, whatever. You know what? Two onto Chelsea. Go yeah. Palmer, please do us a I, favor, bro. I think Chelsea do win, and as a Liverpool fan, like I, I watch Chelsea. I think going into next season. All they need is just a better striker guys than more hope than me, bro. <laughs> You've needed a better striker for seasons. Then then Nicholas Jackson. I think yeah, if you can get someone that can finish off those chances, then yeah, Chelsea would be winning a lot more games. Honestly speaking, Chelsea are playing decent football. They just, in my opinion, very unlucky. Yeah, for this game, I think Chelsea do win. 3-1 I mean they in the fight to at least get Europa football yeah 3-1 to Charles Brighton Aston Villa I think Brighton gets smoked here to be honest listen Aston Villa <laughs> deserve <laughs> deserve me man this guy at this expensive football bro gung-ho football I think the team's getting tired of it I saw some other record they haven't scored in a while dude mm-hmm. I think it's like two or three games like Correct me if I'm wrong in the comments, but they haven't scored in a while, which is what they were good at doing. So now they can't do it, and they're still losing games, which is not good. Yeah. Aston Villa, they're yeah. chasing your top four. They're chasing top four. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Molly Watkins is in some good form. Yeah, Emery has them balling out, yeah, playing some good football. Did uh, Aston Villa have to get this yeah, one, even if it's stop. away from home? I'm gonna say three one. Maybe this might be the day Brighton actually get a goal. Um, but it's Aston Villa walking away with it. In my but the thing is that I'm a, I'm a bit worried about is that the last game they drew two two. I mean I've after leading two goals against I mean, Chelsea. You, yeah, against yeah. Chelsea, yes, you you are fighting for top four, but you then concede two goals, nearly three goals. Imagine. Actually. Imagine. Actually. So like it's not going to be as easy like that for Aston Villa, I think. I think it's gonna be tight. I'm gonna go for three two Aston okay, Villa. Fair, fair, fair. <laughs> Liverpool versus Crystal. No. Liverpool versus Tottenham. Yeah. yeah you sure you wish it was Crystal Palace. Well, no, actually, after that other game. No, yeah. maybe not. You jump in first, my boy. Uh, no, nah, Liverpool, obviously, we have our issues. Um, We don't know how to score goals anymore. Yeah, look, I, I've given up personally. I just want to go into next season, you know, start off fresh. Let's see what happens from next season. Bro, why are you talking like you're a Liverpool fan? Look at this blue shirt, guys. You know where his allegiances belong. Right? Nah, you nah. know who he belongs to. <laughs> nah, um, but yeah, um, obviously I'm going to go for a Liverpool win, win here. I think it's our last, not I think, but yeah, it is our last home league game for this season and for Jürgen Klopp. So mm. I think, yeah, we have to win. I mean, yeah, it's the last game for Klopp at Anfield. So... I, I don't know. I don't care at this point, but 5-0. Let's go 5-0. Yeah. Liverpool 5-0. Clearly doesn't care. <laughs> but listen, I think one yeah. thing you mentioned is that very important last home game. Um, Despite their bad form, they will pull it together. I think they are going to get no, away no, with the no, win. No. I'm, I'm kidding. We cannot go 5-0 against like Spurs. Nah, I changed my mind. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, 3-1 to Liverpool. Yeah. Oh, gee, cool. Can yeah. I continue? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so... Um, I'm thinking it's going to be I think it's going to be a close game I think it's going to be very entertaining actually because they're both going to come out with their hearts on their sleeves especially Liverpool yeah. um, Tottenham are known for playing expansive open football with their high line um, and their pacey centre-backs Van der Ven um, Van der Ven and them with those recovery runs Ooh. but um, yeah honestly I don't know Tottenham have also been bit etchy in terms of scoring goals but they have fights in them yeah. sometimes a bit too late like against Arsenal but they have fights in them I honestly think it's going to be a high scoring game I see it it's going to be emotional and high scoring 4-3 Wow. Liverpool. Wow. Yeah. Crystal Palace and United. Dude, I'm going to say this right now. <laughs> Black Boys FC, Crystal Palace, let's go, bro. I think they're going to roast United, bro. Freud and FC, these guys are on point. They're playing some decent football yeah. since a new coach came in. Yeah. Um, the players are looking say, confident as yeah, well. Mateta. Mateta. Oh, and my goodness. Leave that guy out, bro. Yeah. They are balling Give him out. the space, he will score. Dude, and I think... Cause Maguire problems, let's go. Dude, that's the thing, bro. <laughs> I think United are going to get slapped around the place. Every game United play, they get dominated in terms of possession and shots. Yeah. I don't see why it's going to be any different with Crystal Palace unless yeah. they suddenly turn on. Yeah. And they're playing at Crystal Palace's home stadium, dude. So, Salas Park, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So, honestly, I think Crystal Palace get away with this one. Yeah. How much... Maybe not embarrass United, man. I'm going to say 3-1. No. <laughs> Nah, stand by. 3-1, 10 toes. 3-1, Crystal Palace. Let's go. All right, I'll go for 2-2 draw, Crystal Palace. United draw points again. I think United, like, yes, they're not winning games, but at least they do know how to score. Like, United do know how to come back. That's one thing I will yeah. say. These guys can take advantage, bro. They can yeah. get three goals out of two chances, bro. Don't ask yeah. me how that math works, but it does for them. 
thanks for sticking with us guys let us know your suggestions in the comments as well as yes. your predictions yes, be vocal yes, yes. let us know comment like yes. subscribe share all the good stuff blue Bloods football you subscribe know what it is and your team will win the premier league yes sir yes. <laughs> for sheffield